begin on the top right hand corner of the page with our address. In order to set this correctly with the margins, you take the total number of spaces in the longest line of the address, in this case it's 17 spaces, and you need to begin therefore 17 spaces in from the right hand margin and that's where you set your tab. One carriage return and then we type the telephone number. Then after this we do three carriage returns and type the reference number for the letter if applicable. Following this another three carriage returns and we type the date. Another three carriage returns and we type the address of the recipient. The punctuation after each line of the address is optional. This was the more traditional way of addressing a letter. So now we're going to turn up another three carriage returns and we type our opening salutation followed by two carriage returns to begin our first paragraph. Now we turn up two carriage returns and begin the next paragraph. Remember to always aim for accuracy before speed when you are typing. Speed will naturally follow when you are firstly accurate in your typing ability. It's very easy to make a mistake on a typewriter but it's not as easy as a computer to go back and correct it. So actually going slower and typing more accurately is time saving because it will take you longer to correct the error on the typewritten page. So to begin our next paragraph it's two carriage returns. And in this fully block style letter there's no indentation of each new line or paragraph so it saves quite a bit of time. Also to bear in mind that when typewriters were being used it was commonplace to insert two spaces after a full stop or period. Although of course this isn't essential, you type your letters however you wish. You'll also note when we get to the end of a line and our word doesn't entirely fit in, but depending on the length of the word, you can either hyphenate or using the margin release key will enable you to type one or two characters over, which will not spoil your right hand margin overall in the letter. So now we're going to do two carriage returns and type our final line. Two carriage returns and we type our closing. Five carriage returns and then we type the name. This leaves space within those five lines for the sender to add their signature. And here is the letter finished. Balance margins both left and right hand side of the page and the letter is centered in the page from top to bottom. 
you don't want the letter too far at the top or too far at the bottom of the page you're aiming essentially like framing a picture when you type your letter it should be fairly central from all sides <laughs>